What's up guys, Isaac here in this really cold Sydney morning. And I thought I'd come to you guys with a quick video about social circles, cause why the fuck not, let's do it. Now in 2017, one thing I want you to focus on is getting some new fucking friends because your old friends are whack, all right? Listen, you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with, or generally. Um, Brian Tracy was right when he said that we're the average of the five people we hang around with the most. So who are you hanging around with? Are the people you're hanging out with taking you to another level? Are they pushing you to that level you want to get at? Or are they staying in mediocrity? Generally what happens in self-development and personal development, when you're advancing, you're doing all these new cool things, your new ideas are coming to your mind, you're trying out all kinds of stuff. Your friends tend to look at you like, what the fuck, what's, what's up with this weirdo? What, what's up with this guy or girl? And they might not fully agree with what you're doing. So sometimes they do, sometimes they decide to step up, and that's a beautiful thing. But a lot of the times they might not agree with it. And you can't let this limit yourself. You can't let this limit your growth. So what you need to do is you need to find some people that are more advanced than you, at a higher level than you, further ahead than you. And you need to surround yourself with those people because what this is going to do is those people are going to step you up just from your association. Just from hanging around with them, you're going to want to elevate yourself. You're going to learn some secrets of the trade. You're going to learn a lot of things you would have never figured out with your old friends. And you would be in new situations that you've never been exposed to with your old friends. So this is of paramount importance. And um, I'm not saying you shouldn't hang out with your old friends completely. I'm not saying you should cut them out because that would be kind of sociopathic if you just are cutting people out of your life left and right just for pure personal pursuits you can still hang out with your old friends you can still play some xbox smoke some weed with them or whatever you do but don't let that be the primary uh don't let that run your life is what i'm saying don't spend most of your time doing this thing spend more time with your new friends because this will ensure that you actually will gain the traction you want in life think about it if you hang out with five billionaires if you happen to be in that situation for some reason it's gonna be really fucking hard for you not to be a millionaire if you hang out with five bodybuilders, it's really going to be hard for you to not have a half-decent physique, isn't it? So you need to find these people that are ahead of you and saturate yourself with those people. Now, these people are generally where you'd expect them to be, generally in very obvious places. So someone who's ahead of you in Kung Fu is usually at a Kung Fu tournament. Someone who's ahead of you in business is usually at marketing seminars and business seminars and stuff like that. So you need to... Go out there and befriend these people. You know where they are. Stop being scared. Get out of your comfort zone. Go make those friends. And you're going to see some huge changes in your life. I guarantee it. Anyway, that's the video for today. Real quick and short, to the point, just like everything else I'm going to be doing in 2017. So go out there and make some new friends. Actually, come on and be my friend. How about that? Anyway, peace, guys. Take care.